Hey everybody, welcome to Big Valley Living. My name is Michelle and today I need to find a few ways to use up the last 40 lemons that we had on our lemon tree. We pulled them off yesterday so that all of the buds could uh, take off for next year. So we're going to make limoncello. This is going to be a two part or two different videos, I should say. Um, in this video, our primary goal is to get the peels separated from the lemon. And then we're going to take that and infuse it with 100 proof vodka. That was the strongest vodka that we can get in California. Um, this is a 1.75 liter bottle, so it's about just under 60 fluid ounces. So what I've decided to do for the infusion process is to just get four one quart jars clean and, um, and then some tight fitting lids because that's what you're going to need. So I have three small mouths and one large or wide mouth. Okay. You can buy these tight fitting airtight or these airtight lids at um, any big box store like Target. That's where I got mine. You can probably get them on Amazon if you wish. Uh, but they do have to be tight fitting because you're going to be shaking this mixture every day for two to four weeks, depending on how long you want it to infuse. You need yourself a nice sharp vegetable peeler. Um, and then because I'm dividing this, I want to make sure that it's equal and that all of the vodka gets equal amounts of lemon peel. So uh, I got my kitchen scale out so I can make sure that everything is equal when it goes in. With all of that, let's go ahead and get started. And I'm going to give you some pointers as we go along uh, because the biggest time consuming thing here after cleaning these organic, clean, homegrown lemons uh, is to make sure that we get them all peeled off and no pith left behind. That will make everything kind of bitter and that's not what we're going to want at the end of the day. Well, one of the two most important ingredients here to make limoncello, probably the most important ingredient, is going to be your fresh lemons. These are Meyer lemons, so they have a sweeter flavor. They are organic. I mean, I grew them in my yard and I know that I don't spray anything on my trees. Um, so when you make anything like this, you're going to want to make sure that you do get organic. Um, if you have a friend who, who has a lemon tree, that's your best source, I think, unless they spray. Uh, I don't know of anything really that would require spraying a lemon tree, so uh, they should be organic. And then uh, the other thing, the other source might be um, a co-op, if you have a co-op near you. When you're peeling the lemons, you need a really sharp vegetable peeler. And what I want you to see here you don't have to get one long piece of skin, but I'm going to try. You see, that white part is called the pith, okay? And it's really bitter. You don't want any of that to go into your infusion. So after you've peeled, this is what you're going to want it to look like, okay? It, there's no white. There's like maybe the tiniest bit right there. But there's no white, okay? So what I'm going to do is just go ahead and peel these up. And I've just got a nice little bowl here that I'm going to fill. And because I'm doing this in four different jars, I've already mentioned this, my goal is to weigh this out. And um, in fact, I'm going to put it on there right now. And I'm going to zero out my kitchen scale so that I know exactly how much the product going into it is going to weigh. Angle your cutter or paring knife if you're really good with a paring knife um, so that it's just barely at an angle and you can get a pretty darn good peel um, you can get a nice long peel too if you want I started with 10 lemons here and very various recipe recipes call for different uh, quantities and these lemons are gigantic so this is like having like 12 normal sized lemons another thing i'm going to show you is that some lemons are going to have a blemish from where they grew against a branch or something i'm not going to i'm not going to peel that off i'm just going to let that go and now you're probably also wondering what i'm going to do with these lemons after i've peeled them am i just going to throw them out no, I'm not. I'm going to juice these lemons and I'm going to make some lemonade. 
Um, I'm going to make some lemon curd later this week, but I'll still need some zest for that because I'm going to make a couple of lemon meringue pies. That is my very favorite pie in the world. At least. We ended up with 193 grams, which is about six cups. So I've adjusted and I'm only going to use three quart jars, three one quart jars, I should say because I'll end up dividing this into thirds, which is about 64 and a third grams of peel per jar. Well, the most efficient way to do this is to put your empty jar onto your kitchen scale and zero it out. And I set mine to grams because I'm gonna get um, a more even um, measurement. I'm just gonna take these peels and put them in until I get about 64 and a third grams in each jar. And then we're gonna cover the balance with, oops, that's a little too much. We're gonna cover the balance with the vodka. Then we'll cover it, we're gonna put it in a nice dark place I happen to have a closet in the middle of the house that rarely gets opened. So that's where I'm gonna keep my um, infusion while it's going. And this is almost exactly that what we need. Yep, 64 grams and a hair, okay? So I'm gonna do this with the other two. And it remembered the weight, the jars weigh the same. So this goes pretty quickly, this is pretty cool. there. I'm excited to make this. I've had it before. It's it's good. I like lemons any way I can get them. Um, and it'll be kind of neat to be able to add it to um, lemonade or um, it's used as a digestive in in Italy. So that's going to work out really well. Okay, so I just did something. I'm just going to Re zero this out. There we go. And this is like right out a third. So I'm still going to make sure that my measurements are good. And then if I'm just a tiny bit shy here, I might, that's where I'll make up the difference and not use the full 20 ounces. Yeah, I'm at 61 grams. So uh, that's good enough for me. And now what we're going to do is fill these with 20 ounces of vodka each. Well, this is turning out to be a fine mess. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna go ahead and I've got to do this over a bowl because I thought I would measure it out and all that kind of stuff, so. All right. We ended up with, well, 1.75 liters. So I'm going about three quarters of the way up here on each one of the jars with vodka. You can see we lost a little bit there. I'll just wipe that up. I'm not going to sweat it too much. I'm going, I'm actually going up to the 24 ounce mark on this one. It had a little bit more peel in it. Oops, I'm going to do the same here. Let's see my measurements. 24. And that's going to be about it. So each one is roughly, they're roughly even. There's a little more in one than the other, and um, I think we're gonna be just fine. So, I'm gonna throw some lids on these, and I'm gonna go wipe them down so that my coat closet doesn't smell like a distillery. Um, I'm gonna give them a good shake right now. And that's why I didn't just try and put everything into, I want to show you, I didn't want to put everything into one jar because I want to make sure that we get as much of the flavor out of the lemons as we possibly can. So being able to shake it vigorously is going to help. It was that easy. So we spent about a half hour peeling these lemons carefully and then uh, measuring everything out, getting them into our clean jars, putting our tight fitting lids on, and now we're going to put them into a dark, cool place. 
And if you think any light will leak in, go ahead and give yourself an insurance policy by putting a towel over the top to make sure they stay dark and cool. What you do want to remember is to go in every single day and give it a good shake, okay? That's very important to get every, every bit of flavor you can out of here. And then make sure that everything moves around a little bit. You don't want it to get stagnant. On that note, I'm going to thank you once again for visiting Big Valley Living. We really appreciate you stopping by to visit us. If you're following along, this will be a lot of fun in about three weeks to a month when we finish the project. If you don't want to have this as a drink, you can always give it away as a gift because a lot of people really like to have a little special something. And um, you could save it for Christmas or you could go ahead and, you know, give them a treat in the summertime to cool down their hot summer days. So thank you again. Have a great day. See you later, everybody. And always remember, be kind.